Ijamisa, Ihangu, Ijojahati, Ulihano, Buendero, Sugar Factory, Amo, Namakosi, Namadiment Yona, Dongel Kama, Emilimo, Eki Karakino, Evgenda Viavo, Evu Kuakana, Kama, Abi Kirisi, Brother Ruhanga, Nanko Nira, Mukama Nue, Atuqua Tira, Ogo Mesway to Wona. Niko wangu rekionza na mti mo kujiro kugonza kandi ni haisaibara ni alo kabu mrongi waliyo aibu kama amoiwa ni sisi ni riamwa na ni riamwa yomi kiri re imbaba zamka mo Jesus Christu imbonzi zarvanga o kuchenza pamo yomi kiri re bibe na inyonya na magenzwa ya kujuka yuliya ito niko tete kanzu kamba rekionza rekino. Ninya tra hari rango msozo wa Yona na maso kani wa Kenz Fange kwa kuna sisemu ombitekelezo ombigando ombikoro ombutakole yonge gusingire 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 kimo nifu kukwesinige za mwenye kifiru kukwesinge za mwenye awa maleka na wakili rukona Kaya ni wakensi wangi, kumsa vilayi Muhanga. Ruhango msozo waliona kigivre mbabazi, kanda kiganyiri vijia itu, atuikiongo omezo utahu waho. Amina.
Jerusalem. Ayi mukamba, oganyira bantu bawe kandi habwe mbabazawe mutukanyisemu ebisembo byawe. Otufende mu muro go kwikiriza okunihira no kugonza. Twekambire byo tosa kwati dragiro byawe. Kino kikusaba mtrawe Yesu Kristu kama wayi to mwana wawo. Ayo mera kanda ale mahamu na yudamo yomiki ile rangomo ebiro ne biro. Ebiokubanza, ebiga bebiye omkitabu ekiokubanza, umfeba ikumi na mnana, ukara ukubanza, baki arwa ikumi. Kumbira kwenye hangu, mukama kaboni kila Abrahamu, ubakaba ikari damu ya mbuwehe maye, hai nomuti kwa msimbi wa mamre, ubaya inunui la maiso. Abraham ya rura abantu basatu bemerira maiso ge obiyabalusire aho naho ya imukamu ya mbwehema na yuka okubatangira ya ina mahansi na gambati mukamu wange uraba no goza kongire mbabazi mukwesengerize utarabaho omuyiru wawe barabaletra maizi munabe ebigere byanyu hanyuma Muhumule hansi yomuti. Kambaletele emikati. Mwegare mu amani. Mutakaba hile okwe yonge la yo. Mingira. Eki nikio kibale sile na mbele mwili wanyu wali. Boba kakambati. Kitukore nkoko gambile. Abrahamu ya yekubabu wangu muhema ya gambila sara ati. Yangu ha, teka ni zende ngo isate zobu hunga, uchumbe mikati. Aha, Abrahamu ya yuka wangu, umuguru wente, ya ihayo enyana, eyonkere kurungi, egomo kere, ya kikuwa somuiru, kandi ya yangu ha, ukukichumba. Awe ya tuwara umuisi, amata, amune enyame ya kuchumbirwe, ya vitu wa maiso gavu. Bari ya vaikuta, we abemeri ni hai ansi yomuti ba mkuu zavati mukaziwa we sara alika we ya karuka mwati alomuhema ani ma omuhari abake nyibe ya mukambirati mwaka mkuu kujia kando mukasumi inkakan ni jiko kumongira kando mukaziwa we aliba aina omwana ovojo kino tika mboki amkama. Zaboli ekikaru kwamu ai mukama noha alinara muhema yawe ai mukama noha alinara muhema yawe ai mukama noha alikara msozi wa lukwera nuko agenda ataine kyaru kohanwa akola ebikirire kanda agambe byamazima na biha mtima kwe atabihirwa atabihira abandi no lulimirwe Ayu kama noha alinara muhema yao Nuoko atalu kukona kubimu genzuwe Rondi kukea muka hiwe Nagaya abatutaina ruhanga Baitu atamu ikitini sabo abatu tina mkama Ayu kama noha alinara muhema yao Senteze taigo mesa muno No kwa kweye kulie nguzi kwa singise abatai na msango mtu mkogo talite ngese kwa ibiru biona ayu mkama
isomo eri akabiri ebigambo bigombaruha omukiye Paul omutumwa eya handikire abakorosayi mpwego kubanza uruka rwa 24 gakira rwa 28 hati ni semera rwa kurora ni mbona abona habwanyi abakuba ni pikiza no mbiri kwange ebiri kupura hamabone Kristo agaya boyine habo mubiri kwe nicyo kitebe cyabakiriza ikitebe iki nicyo nakomiwe kuba muhereza wakyo uko muri mu gwa ruhanga oguna hayo habwanyu okuguri nuko manyisize kimu ikigambo kya ruhanga Egi niyo nsita ya serikali ya Yona no singe buona baitu atenya kuolekerwe abantu be nuko ruhanga ya gondeze kuoleka nsita H uko kwine kitinisa kingi umbanya mahanga nsteki nuwe Kristo anyakuru muri nywe omkwato gwaito oguri kitungise kitinisa nuwe turukurangira nitwegesa kandi nitutererera buri muntu na magezi gona nuko anyabwikire tusobole kumureta hari Kristo kino kigambo kya mukama
So if I translated a little bit, some English, you will be able to follow, isn't it? Like he, yeah, the other section manager of the animals down here, <laughs> he will not follow so well. And then there is a, the other man in charge of the bagasse down there. <laughs> He's also looking at me as if I'm speaking another language that is not understood by him. But the spirit has fallen upon me, and I will try to use a language that is all inclusive. And also the fact that many of these also understand what I am saying. So, dear friends in the Lord, I am very happy to be here at the Wendero Diary Farm. Thank you so much for welcoming us, and uh, may God reward you abundantly for your generosity, for having invited us so that you can also participate in our marathon by supporting us this year, 2022. Mr. John Fitzgerald Magara, Atenyi, and your dear wife, Margaret Magara Aboli, Kavajulizi. I am very happy to find you here again with your Managers, I have seen the human resource manager is around, and our coordinator, John, plus all the section managers, plus all our dear workers. Thank you so, so much for welcoming us to Wendero Dairy Farm. Thank you for living a life of witness. Mr. John Magara. I don't know whether he borrowed us or he has lent us his wife, but uh, the wife is an active servant of Radio Maria Uganda Kuima. She's our treasurer. She's a volunteer at Radio Maria Uganda Kuima. She's one of the members of the local executive committee, which for you you can understand as the board. She's our board member. So, uh, Mr. John, we were to tease our She's such a passionate woman and also very faithful. She cannot leave us unattended. And when weeks go by, she will always ask, how are you faring over there? Because she does the work of overseer. They do the work of overseer. And the, the president does not live nearby. So, uh, Grace, Gojo Koti, Machulet Magara, and Mohenda, they are normally within. Simon Peter Mohenda, they are normally within. And then, also Kalirora Tanas, together with Amon Zondera. But these two, they, they normally, they are delegates normal of the president in many activities of the radio. So I thank you so much before these people, and really I recognize the work that you do for us at the radio. Thank you for leading by example. She's even our first volunteer and donor. These people, the Lexico members, they are the first donors of the radio. Because we don't do business, so we survive on donations from different listeners. And they are part of the chief listeners, but also donors. And that's why we came up with the, the theme that let us listen to, love and support radio. They are doing it at the level. No wonder. You have also fallen suit. Because when a, a goat lives nearby an ant hill, it also becomes brown by coincidence. So you have all become brown. Madame Matulet has infected all of you with the spirit of Radio Maria and it is now affecting all of you. Thank you so much. And Sunday, according to the Human Resource and John, they say it is one of the days when workers normally get some breathing space to be off duty. But you have scratched off your work, you are valuable one hour to be here with us so that you can pray with us and also support us. You cannot, you cannot also not take that for granted. Thank you so much. 
the managers find you can order, but goodwill is always important. For me, I believe in goodwill. I don't believe in forcing people to do things. I believe that people who do things out of their own free volus, they are able to, to perform better. They do better. And so, for doing this out of your free way is the best uh, gift you can always give to us. And also by showing that you appreciate the work that you do. And I thank you for that. Thank you so much, my guys. I also want to thank the proprietors of this uh, farm. One, they offer employment. Employment of the last time I checked, I've not had updated records from the human resource. I don't know whether it is a fire and hire scheme, but what I know, at least the last time I checked, the, there were over 750 workers who were attached to the farm. And these are earning good money, which is good, really. So the proprietors, the John Magaras, they are like the gods which fight so hard and they lower down the sticks of the peas so that those branches, the, the lambs or the sheep can also eat from there, isn't it? For us, we may not be having all that ability to struggle to go up and bring down the branches. But when somebody goes up and brings down the branches, then the sheep are able to do what? Yes, that is a gift. You are a gift among us for providing employment to us. And many of you, including you ladies, although you look a little bit older, but I think it's just because of the hair you have tied, many of you are still youth. So you are providing employment to the young people. Look at these young bearded men. These are the youth and young adults who are getting employment from this place. I think we pray that the Lord sustains and provides for all of you so that the topmost they are upheld by the grace of God to continue sustaining you here as well as. When somebody really becomes an entrepreneur and creates jobs, this is the best we want, especially for our young population, which is over 70% of the Ugandan population. We need jobs. So when somebody creates jobs, let us not take it for granted. You and I have the duty to pray for them and also to work for the best so that the company is sustained and then we also begin getting our heart continuously get our support from the company as well as from the interpersonal relationship, the social capital that we build from here. And finally, I want to acknowledge that you are living as a church. You have started taking, you have taken the church actually at this place. John, the coordinator, told us before lockdown there were, there were masses being celebrated here and we would pray in Sundays, have prayers. But because of COVID, the prayers were limited to a, a smaller number of the family. But now it is his desire and the managers that these prayers are continued on a, on a weekly basis at least, so that you are able to to Consolidate yourselves in prayer and you live together as a praying community. That's why you see you have some of these sophisticated equipment which I never expected to find here. You have the incense board, you have the thurifer, you have the keyboard, you have the choir members, and they have their hymnals, the hymn books. So they are doing well. This is a church already. I thank you for that. What you have heard from the gospel is exactly the grace that you are taking. Why? Martha was working a lot in the kitchen, preparing the food, and her sister was sitting in the feet of Jesus, listening to the good news. And then all of a sudden, the sister somehow kind of is intrigued, because this is normal in our local society. Why should a woman really sit to switch talk a guest? before preparing something to eat. Is that normal? When guests come, a woman should really try to prepare something. But is seated, she's seated and listening to Jesus talk while her sister is toiling behind. I think in a normal society she's not doing right. Isn't it? 
she's not doing right. And the sister is right to rebuke her so that she comes and begins to do what? To help her in the domestic chores so that they are able to prepare the food in time. But then, another surprise that comes up when Martha comes to Jesus and asks him to allow the, 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 the sister to go behind and assist her in preparation and in the other activities, Jesus says, for you are worried of many things and you are toiling, but Mary has chosen a better part. Can you imagine? The act which we were perceiving as lessness on the side of Mary, now Jesus is saying she has chosen a better part. What does this mean? Does he encourage laziness? Does he encourage selfishness? Does, does he encourage that when people come, when visitors are received, they are not uh, served with something, they should just keep there and listen to the sweet words and eventually say bye? What does he try to encourage? What he tries to encourage is that in most of the times, we are covered with a lot of care and actually we have a lot to do, which is valuable. And in the constancy of doing this work, there is a temptation of misfiring the expected. Why? You work, you work, you work, you work a lot, Sunday to Sunday, and then because the work is so important, the profession is important, the family is so important, and everything else, the studies are so important, and then you fail to get a simple or little time to be in the presence of the Lord. You get it? You know, we can be busy. Say, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. And then being busy can easily be interpreted as being under Satan's yoke. Whereby you fail to get 30 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour to pray, to attend to God. And whereas God should occupy a bigger portion of your life, is being pushed out by work. Imagine food is such an essential thing because food is an inner stimulus of the outer life, isn't it? But now, Jesus is saying, instead of that food, this lady has chosen the better part. What better part than the basic needs of life like food? Isn't it? If the guest must go very well with his energized, she needs some food. But why does he tell Martha that instead of preparing the food, you had better come and sit at the feet and listen? Meaning, I desire more of you to be in my presence than preparing for me the food. So would I say that you two have chosen a better part? Out of your usual daily schedules, today you have chosen and given me this hour to be the presence of in what other ways in our modern society that we can be in the presence of the Lord? By attending Mass, we are in the presence of the Lord. By finding few or little minutes within your home and pray together, you are in the presence of the Lord. Because the family that prays together stays together. Then before you come to begin your work here, just in front of your desk, you can stand up, make the sign of the cross, in three or four words, dedicate your day to the Lord. As you are leaving your duty, signing out, you can also make the sign of the cross and make a short prayer, then jump out. There you are saying that all I am, all I have, all I am doing, I want to do it in the name of the Lord. May it affect my thoughts, may I keep it in my heart, and then do it with my isn't it? Being in the presence of the Lord does not mean that you only have to trek long journeys to go to prayer centers. Do it there and now. Each time. Isn't it? The morning you are entering the gate, you sign yourself with the sign of the cross. Then enter your name in the book of arrival. After that, go to your desk open as you are sitting. Make the sign of the cross. As you are going to switch on the machine, Make the sign of the cross. As you are handing over the keys, make a short prayer. 
as whatever you are doing, do it with the Lord. Those of you who have a chance to go to the Kuroto at Kitoba, go there, sit for a while, say the decade of the Rosary, which is approximately three minutes and you leave. You can even say the whole Rosary because it takes 15 minutes. These are simple signs how you can be in the presence of the Lord. We are not saying that whatever you are doing is not important. It is important. But what is very important, do it in the Lord and with the Lord. Start in the Lord and end in the Lord. That is the simple challenge that Christ is presenting. That you can give me the food fine, but when you don't listen to instructions, you are preparing the food. Do you know that I eat meat? You are preparing the food fine. You are preparing pork, but I am Muslim. I don't take it. Don't you think you have toiled? But you have been sweating. So toil and work may not be separated unless you begin it in the Lord. So when the Lord come, you are in the presence of the Lord. You have taken off this time so that we come together and be in the presence of the Lord. This is one of the signs and bring concrete examples of being in the presence of the Lord. When we told you we are coming, said you are most welcome. One hour will be taken off our daily schedule, be with you and pray, which is okay. And I am still saying you have chosen the better part. How many times has the Lord called you, Martha? Normally the youth are using this nowadays. Martha, Martha, how many times have I called you? And then at that time he keeps quiet. So you call him two times after that, or CDK, isn't it? This is the youth. They are using it so much. Just call him or her two times. After that, you keep quiet. Martha, Martha, meaning he wanted his what? Her attention. So when somebody calls you once, twice, he needs your attention. And thank you for being attentive to the voice of the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he show his favor upon you and Peace. Amen. 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 It's time for offering. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tamu wa Rwanda Darawa nya kwe BBS Bailongi sabete rwa Oge nyigwe Ayu kama
bwana mara redien maria tujiuliza tujigonza kandi tukoraki kandi tukisagika bwana mara kuja kutaliza usaka kwetu kwa kino tukataka hivyo ndo mlingo kuona tukarura ho usagika kandi hanyuma uh, human resource uh, umnyoro albert bitura akuija kuija abona kama mbugufu then mwa kuija kuimukia uh, by director twaitu obukani father raja na hendera amen nitaka ni sasa itu mkweli ti mbugufu uh, akaelekano nikanda alisini umnyoro john art a koordinator wetu mkuu
Maria mau atonga ni kwa ni kwamba atonga ni amina. Kani kwa kodi ki, abatonga ni re kani atonga ni re kwenye amina. Wepali muno amukuru, Mr. John Art, umri mabu kuzi epulungi muno. Na wakai le kano, let me invite the human resource, Mr. Albert B. Pura, for the word. Thereafter, you invite the director.